He's oh been God. breaking for 10 years straight. So you That's know my he's here to stay. Salute, my friends. The energy yes. is a thriller. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this chat to update because it's it's still got the usually I just have to open it. There it is. Okay, it's working. All right, guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I uh, I got three hours of sleep uh, here on the floor. <laughs> It's all Kobe would let me get. Kobe was like, look, there's too much shit to do for you to be going to sleep. And I'm like, Kobe, I got to get some sleep, bro. I can't work like this. He was like, you got three hours. Go. <laughs> and then, sure enough, three hours later, he's knocking on the door. Three hours and ten minutes. Three hours. See this? He's counting the ten minutes. He's like, three hours and ten minutes. Um, You should be able to do it. Like, if you click see your perks, if you're already... Uh, it doesn't matter though. It's not a big deal. Marge is only for if we get well, not if when, when we get drunk. That's all Marge is for. Marge is just the drinking break. <clears throat> all right, so Kobe's here because we're gonna get him opening this after this case, so that I can catch up. Sound cool? So. Um, this one's a little bit of a learning curve. It's definitely different. So what you do when you get it out, it's going to be four, four, and four, right? But you got to break it up into three, three, and three because this isn't just baseball. Gotcha. There's non-sports, broadcasters, actors, comedians, oh. all kinds of Paul Rudd's in here, all kinds of crazy shit. And then there's other sports. J.K. Dobbins is in here. Uh, they've had basketball players. There's hockey players. There's all kinds of other people. So they're broken up like this. Non-sports is just these three boxes. And then non-sports is just these three boxes because they have so many cards. And then non-sports and non-sports. So there's four non-sports spots. Okay. Three, 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 and three. And you just put them, you'll see how I do it. You just put them in there. Mm -hmm. Each one has a box topper. That's its own spot. I put them in here. Uh, the teams are the full case, right? Um, but the non-baseball sports, hockey, football, basketball, skateboarding, you know, that kind of shit, is split up in half. So it's these two and then these two. So that's why you break it up into threes because then it's easier later when you sort. Trust me. So that's how you do it. But <clears throat> the product is actually a lot of fun. A lot of people don't really like it, but I love it. I always have. Um, I've pulled werewolves and all kinds of shit out of here. You just never know what's going to be in here. All right, so this, <clears throat> this is very important. I don't open these, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, what you got to do is you've got to be able to trust your breaker because I'm going to tell you why. These box toppers, right, they're almost worthless. It depends on who's in here. Um, but very rarely you will get what's called a box topper rip card and the box toppers are pretty flimsy and they'll give like so. So I take the box topper and I go like this just a little bit just to see, you know, I can actually tell, mm -hmm. I can tell if this is thick or not, but they can't tell. So I give it just a little bit of a flex. If it flexes at all, it's not a box topper, but what do you see? That's a box topper. <laughs> Look at this. Tony Gwynn. All right. Now, I can't open this. I wish I could. I wish the guy with the spot was here. Um, who's got box toppers? Force Change 77. So I can't do this to show you, <clears throat> but it's such, it's so freaking cool. Um, you see this, this little pull tab right here? Mm -hmm. And this little pull tab right here? Right. You pull that, rip the card open, and inside this are three mini cards. And they're supposed to all be stained glass, 
accidentally, but that's that's in what it is. But generally, I won't open these. I only open them if they're box toppers. So if you don't, if your breaker's shady and there's a lot of shady, mm -hmm. right? There's too much money for there not to be a lot of shady. Um, they'll just put that, you know, off to the side, not open it, and then switch it out later with a, you know what I mean? Because that's that's a huge card. I mean, that's worth hundreds of dollars for a, you know. A, a forty dollar spot, forty five dollar spot, and you've got hundreds of dollars in the very first box. Mm -hmm. You know, just like that. I also open the mini ones because they can they can have autos. It's rare, but they can have autos. So I always open those. Um, but the other box toppers, I don't. <laughs> They're like, open it, open. It. I can't open it unless the owner says I can open it. Um, all right, so this is how this works, right? You just fly through them. No big deal. This one means it's, I think upside down means a uh, short print. Anything over 300, I think, is a short print. Not a big deal. Um, this is a mini. Every pack's going to have a mini. Uh, you check the backs. This is an insert, so it won't be there. But if you check the backs, the backs will be different. And it could be a one of one. It could be all kinds of things. So you always got to check the back. But you'll get a feel for it. There's three hits in each, in each box. Um, so here's Barry Zito. I flip. Nothing. Um, the hits are going to be absolutely obvious. Gotcha. You won't have any trouble. It'll be at the very back. It'll be this card. That Casey upside down, it means it's a short print. It's not a big deal. You don't really care. Flip the fielder, nothing. Last case, there were two. There were two regular sized. Now, this means it's a black border. Not a big deal. Nothing huge, but black border. Horse! Phil loves those. So short print. <laughs> Where monsters live. And it's the closet. And then this glows in the dark. The card glows in the dark. <laughs> and then there'll be a there'll be a box. Okay, so this is an Allen and Ginter back. Not a big deal, but if you get an A and G back, the only thing you got to look for is the card number. Mm -hmm. If there is a card number, it's cool. It's rarer than these, which are a regular back, right? It's cool. Nothing major. If there's no card number, that's a nice card. Nice and rare. Subtle, but rare. Oh, is the box topper owner in the chat? Where's he at? <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> uh... Ozzy Albies. Yeah, graveyard should be one. It should. That's true. So this one, I think, has got a hit in it. Yeah, so this is the Baseball Brit. It's kind of a lame card, but I mean, if you're into that, whatever. Um, and it's just some shit this guy wore. He's basically a British baseball fan. Got him into the product. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the monsters live glow in the dark. They sure do. Donnie Baseball, A and G back. Yeah, Jake's box was crazy, wasn't it? So, like, there's all kinds of people in here. Uh, comedian and professional foosball player. I mean, bitch couldn't beat me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Each box has one of these. They're just garbage. <laughs> um, Valerito, black border. So the only thing I do is I try to go kind of fast because the base cards, you know, after you've seen them, see one of those. One of those, every box, no big deal. Tony La Russa, black. Uh, that was supposed to go over here, but close enough. Uh, so I want to look at the back of the minis, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the back of the minis. Bam! And I want to, you know, pull the hits. There's going to be three. And we've only... That's a Luis Robert. Where monsters live. And if you if you do it at an angle, you can see what part of it glows. And like the grate of the <laughs> of the sewer drain glows. And then the top glows. It's, it's, they're cool. <laughs> she wouldn't be me, bro. 
Fred McGriff. I'm just kidding. She'd probably be me. Duke Snyder. So here's another hit. CC Sabathia. Uh, it's just a relic. Most of your hits are going to be minis. See, it's a mini. It's a mini card inside a frame. See, mm -hmm. so the card's just in there. That's the <clears throat> the weirder the card, probably the more valuable. Burt Blylevin, a cave where monsters live. Larry Doby, A and G bag. <laughs> why, why do you think he's forced change? I mean, he very may, may well be. Aparicio. That would be cool. A fossil or a button would be cool. I haven't hit one yet. Bo Bichette and Kyle Lewis rookies. Jansen. If you get a really, really shiny card, that's a one of one. Until you get to the box that's only shiny cards, and then that's fine. Joey Votto. So there's still one more hit in here, and we've only got two packs to go. So I'm pretty confident it's going to be in one of these two packs. All right, this should be our last hit, and it is. See, you can see the frame down there. Be an auto, and it is. Okay, so this is this is this is the this is the catch. With these, you just gotta put what box they came out of. All right, that's all I gotta know. Just what box they came out. of. If it's not a baseball hit, I need to know what box it came out of. And this guy is a BMX legend, so he would be um, non-baseball sport. Uh, but you don't have to do that. Just put the box number. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, so you would just put a one, but I know what this goes to. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put the whole thing, but just put a one on it and we're good to go. Just a one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so that is the first box. And the first three boxes you're going to put in this row, second, third, fourth, and then you put your hits and your box toppers. You see what I mean? <clears throat> And the only time I got to know what box it was is when it's not a baseball hit. The baseball hits don't matter. So now see this one? See how it see how it gives real easy? The other one wasn't giving. Uh, the button card is probably a pin from... Um, an election uh, could be JFK, could be Obama, you know. But that's that's all it is. Strasburg, A and G back. Bob Feller. Uh, I'm gonna do at least one case tonight, maybe two. And uh, probably two because uh, Kobe's gonna do um, he's gonna do one on his channel too. George Brett. And then at the end when you do your um, when you do your recap, mm -hmm. just you know just grab a small amount of cards at a time and recap them. You know what I mean? That way you're not because I know if you grab a bunch you're gonna be all worried about Mike Trout. Trout. Yeah, or sliding them or. So just, you know, just grab five, six at a time, show them, mm -hmm. set them down, and, you, you know, that's it. Don't even, don't even sweat it. I'll start your stream, and then you can call me, and uh, we'll walk through closing your stream. You know what I mean? Okay. But it's pretty easy. So this is a Gianni Bench rip card, all right? So it's just like that big one, and if you look on the back, there's a pull tab right here, and you rip the card. 
And inside is one of these things. A red mini autograph. An exclusive mini parallel, which is what you don't want. Unless it's somebody like Luis Robert. A wood parallel, which you do want. Mini metal, which is okay. I think they're to three. And a one-of-a-kind sketch card, which depends on who it is. But that's pretty badass, too. So, it goes to the Reds. But inside could be any team. You see? But it's his, and we don't open it. But if if the guy that owns Reds, who is Longhorn, if Longhorn's in the chat and he says, rip it, and he gets whatever team, it's still his, you see, because it came out of his rip card. Okay. This this is the Reds, no matter what's inside it. It's the Reds. Gotcha. So, and it's really cool. So hopefully we'll get one where somebody's in here. and uh, Would it be that same name? No. Oh, okay. No, and don't let see how this is to 75. Some rip cards are to 5, some are to 10, some are to 99, some are to 50, but the numbering doesn't mean shit. I've opened up one to like 5 and had a garbage card, and I've opened one to 99 and had like a red ink auto yeah, of the dude. best. So d don't let it fool you. It doesn't mean anything. They all just look like that. Though. Yeah, okay. yeah, but they're different players right, on them. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, he ain't wrong, because it is... If you've never ripped one, they're a little weird. I always want to I always want to preserve as much of the card as you can. So you don't want to rip all the way down, right? Because you want to preserve the rip, you know what I mean? But if you don't rip it all the way off, then you could damage the mini getting it out because you have to rip it all the way off in order to open both flaps, like a door, like a barn door. But if you don't rip it all the way down, hoping to preserve as much of the card as you can, then it's like trying to get out a door that's not all the way open. You know what I mean? So you're just banging into shit and all that. <clears throat> anyway, that's my story. Uh, I would not rip a Luis Robert just because it, you know, there's so little in it that would be worth the card. Um, but I would, I would rip that Johnny Bench in a New York minute. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would, I would definitely rip the Johnny Bench. Um, I would rip almost every rip card. <laughs> he said, just open it and show us. <laughs> Not mine. Not mine. Can't do it. Every year I say that next year I'm going to make it. Cause if I had put it in the thing, Hey, if you join this break and I hit you a rip card, I'm ripping it. I could put it in there and everybody would still join, but I didn't and I keep forgetting. And every year I'm like, next year I'm doing it. And I just, I always forget. <clears throat> they said this weekend banging shit. Reese Hoskins. So anyway, that's why I like this product. I like it a lot, but normally I pre-sort. And what I mean by that is I go through and as I come to a guy that's not a baseball, you know, I pre-sort non-baseball here, non-sports here, you know what I mean? And it takes a lot longer and I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys do it. So, well, we'll let Kim and Linda, and Nisha and Jaylee do it. Marte, you and I, we... We're breakers now. We don't we don't mess with that stuff. Yes, <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't mess with that stuff. That's beneath our pay grade. Teddy ball game. So it's just such a fun set, you know. So like this card mm -hmm. would go to non uh, non sports, right? And there's so many cards that the non sports spots, even though it's only three boxes, they'll get more than most teams. That would go to non sports if it was a. Um Auto, no, it still does. They still get the base and stuff, too. Guriel. You know. <clears throat> Crack the wax. Bullshit. Allen and Ginter. Rally Fingers. <laughs> you want to see it? It's got only the, It's only got to be the guy that owns it. Cole Calhoun. I can't open it if it's... If the, if the owner doesn't say, you know what I mean? I just, I can't. I can't do it. A sewer drain. <laughs> I could say it slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I tripped and fell and ripped your card. 
Jose Ramirez. <laughs> so here is Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. <clears throat> and if that was non sports, then you would put what box mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, but we're already doing that with these. See, by putting all the first three boxes in here, you're telling the guy sorting that all non-sports in this pile is one through three. So you don't have to do all that work. You know what I mean? But because we put the hits over here and not, see, so that's why. And we're going to put all those in one spot. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so that's why we have to write it because, you know, we're not going to be able to remember later. All right, so this is box three. <laughs> Sesenta says we can eat. <laughs> we can eat all the all the uh, Astros. He has them. <laughs> That's great. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Get back up there. Stay right there. Don't you move. There are some crazy. Ra oh, this is the hot box. So hot box. Um, the only thing that I like to do with a hot box is pull the rookies. But don't worry about it okay. because it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to know them on site. You're not. It, we'll just we'll get them later. They still get them. It's not like they don't get them. It's just I like to pull them out. Uh, Luis Robert, Kyle Lewis, Bo shit. You know what I mean? But it's not really anything that you have to worry about. So this guy, right, he's a professional skateboarder. So we would put him with non-baseball, non-baseball, um, one through six, but we'll do that later when we're so. Timmy Lincecum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, look at this. So, look here. Um, this is an A and G back, this Reese Hoskins. And you see how it's card nine yeah. above his name? Yeah, no number. This one has no number. So, they're basically numbered to like 50. It's like a gold refractor, but they're, they're subtle. You know, you're not necessarily going to notice that. Mm -hmm. So, and there's about two a case. So you've got to, you've got to look <laughs> at all these cards, looking for that two cards in all these boxes without a number, you know, mm -hmm. it's slick. But now think about this. What if that was Luis Robert instead of Timmy Lincecum? Now, instead of being, you know, a $5 card, it's over a hundred, you know? So, Gavin Lux. It's a nice rookie. Vladito. And Austin Meadows for the Rays. He's a Ray. So this should be, sometimes you'll get two, but it's really rare. This should be the only box like this. It's called a hot box. And all the base cards are parallels. You know? Yeet yeet! <laughs> Willie Mays. Giants. Trevor Hoffman. Do you mean the EXT? Oh, somebody just did something. What'd you guys do? Probably became a member, huh? I can't really read it. Bregman. He's a cheater. Nico Horner rookie. little mini rookie. That's cool. Let the kids do a break. I've let the kids do a break before. That's why they don't do them now. Acuna, <laughs> black border. Oh, I don't want to let your uh, hot box cards fly. Tucker, Kyle Lewis mini A and G back. That's a nice little card. So this city would go, both of these cities, right? They would go to, um, right, just so. Thanks for making it easier for me. 
<laughs> Put them all together. Tonight, this time. Uh-oh, Kevin Biggio and Devers. So we got a little auto here. Kevin Biggio for the Blue Jays. Oh, yeah, I already ordered my chrome cases. I got you. I'm all about the chrome, man. AJ Puck, Mike Trout, Julian Edwards. Did you know that Julian Edwards was in, um, I don't know, that one movie where you weren't allowed to look around? Wasn't it? Oh, um, uh, bird, bird song? Bird Box. Bird Box, that's what I said. I was testing to see if you knew. He was in that. Did you know that? I, didn't, I don't even know who that, that is. Yeah, me neither. I didn't know either. I hit his auto, and I was like, who the hell is this? And they were like, oh, it's the kid from Bird Box. I was like, oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> Zach Galen. Three packs left. There'll be at least one more hit. I think. The attic where monsters live. The attic. Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Juan Gon Gonzalez. Dubon. Get up there. And last pack. And there is there there is another hit in here. Okay, good. Uh it's that uh skateboarder guy. So that would go um non baseball sports one through six. But all you would have to do is put box three. bought that for you all right and then when i get these done mm -hmm. you take the minis and put them over here too because inside the minis are non-sports and stuff like that and they've got to be broken up so then you go on to box four and you move to the next row okay so i thought the minis we had to go through at the end so just those other right if you go through the minis at the end you won't know which box they came from yeah, uh-huh and then you wouldn't know which group they go to. The first time I did this, mm -hmm. um, I didn't break up the non-sports uh, and the non-baseball. So I had 30 teams, right? Mm -hmm. And I had one spot for non-baseball cards. And bro, that one guy got like over a row of cards. And then everybody else got, you know, <laughs> he got so much. It was such a huge hit, man. Bobby Doerr. Gurriel. No, there's a spot for box toppers. Uh, it's, it's a great spot in this one. It's not always a great spot. You know, you might just get 12... 12 box toppers I mean you know if you sell them as a lot you might come close to breaking even it's not a it's not really good but if you get an auto then you've crushed it uh, no mini in here which means there'll be a pack with two minis gotcha. okay. um, which means you know you crushed it or you can do what we did and hit a uh, a box topper rip card which we did in box one, and that is a major monster huge hit. Jim Palmer. Istanbul. Zach Galen again. Phil Necro. Uh, it goes to the uh, the player on the card. Raphael Devers. Not unless the owner says I can. He's still asking. 
Yeah, new people come into the chat. Oh, okay. Rip that son of a... <laughs> I mean, it would be great content for a video. Aaron Judge. Lorenzo Kane. So there's three hits a box, but I mean, most times it's just a napkin relic, you know, it's not really any big deal. Uh, but sometimes it's a rip card or it's a just something amazing. Hopefully we'll hit something amazing. I haven't hit a pin yet. I haven't hit a DNA relic. I haven't hit a meteorite. I haven't hit anything. Ryan Braun, I've hit some cool stuff though. I hit an Otani, I hit a couple soccer players. Those are really valuable autos. Lore uh, Robbie Cano. Yee -yee. Scorpion Fly, I don't wanna mess with that guy. Steve Carlton. A dark tunnel where monsters live, in case you were wondering. Cepeda, Emmerich, and this I think is is this a hit? Yeah, it's a hit. Wow, that's a it's a tattoo guy. At least that's cool. I mean, he's got cool boxer shorts or whatever the hell this was. Subject used. I don't know. Whatever. Nico Horner. So when I first hit this guy, right? Mm -hmm. So look at his uh, look at his face. It didn't say tattoo artist. It was just his face, and uh, you can't see it in this photo. But underneath there were all these skulls. And so I said he's either a, a Dungeons and Dragons dungeon master or he's the lead singer from Slayer. <laughs> that was my guess, but it's a, it's a tattoo artist. I was close, though. That was my third guess. <laughs> Boxes 10 to 12. I got you. I got you. Oh, because you was um, I think there are spots open. Uh, I won't get to that break tonight, but there are. Well, actually, I might. Um, let me see if they're if they're open. Let me let me check real quick because I I don't want to lead you astray. But there might be. There were I don't know like seventeen spots open earlier, and I didn't see a notice saying that uh, I s sold out. So hold on, I'll tell you. Uno momento, por favor. No. Yes. Why is that not? Oh, that's why. Whoo! Did she get all the shipping done? Yes, she did. That's excellent. I like to hear it. She was pissed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There is, check this out, are you guys ready? One, one spot left for Allen and Ginter. One spot, that's it. <laughs> it's Kermit the Scrub. So, uh, somebody asked about the box stop. Yeah. Um, it's, the, uh, it's the same link as this break. It's it's the exact same link. Yamaguchi. What's up, Moss Town? How you doing? Tommy Lasorda. Tony Gwynn. It depends. It depends um, on the card. 
Like, if you want my advice, rip cards. Um, I would rip every box topper. Every box topper. Because they're supposed to have three, um, what did I say? Uh, stained glass minis in them. Uh, 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 supposedly, that's what's in them. Um, and the big box toppers, what are you going to do? You know, display it. You know, it's a pain in the ass to ship. You know what I mean? So, I would rip it, personally. I would also rip every box topper that's not like Luis Robert. Uh, that was Xander Bogarts, by the way. Oh, it sold out while you were paying. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Oh, I would... The, 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 I'm... The, of the opposite, I would absolutely rip the bo the box topper. Absolutely, because there's there's three in there. You know, you're not gonna get much for that box topper because it's a pain in the butt. Nobody, you know, the guy buying the box topper is buying it to rip it. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, yeah, they said you're apprenticing on uh, Moss Down says you're apprenticing. On Allen and Ginter, I'm just throwing you off the deep end. <laughs> What's up, Moss Town? <laughs> just throwing you off the deep end. How the... That's like starting you with uh, um, Prism Basketball. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's just, you know, $30,000 cards in here, so just be careful. Juan <laughs> uh. Marishaw. Oh, you know what else I gotta do? I gotta random the uh, uh, John Means. I mean, whatever. Orioles auto. I gotta random the uh, Bowman Chrome. I keep forgetting to do that. They're gonna be so pissed I haven't done it yet. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, let me finish this box and I'll random the Bowman Chrome because I keep forgetting. And I don't want them to. I mean, it's already. You know, midnight. It's midnight the night of. Bowman Chrome opens, you know, in in a few hours, and I haven't done the random. They're they're probably like this jerk. Guriel's a cheater. Nick Senzel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maglio Ordonez. Trey Turner. <laughs> hey, Greg, uh, I saw the, um, I saw the teaser. I saw the teaser. It looked pretty good. Uh, did you do the teaser? It looked good, but it didn't look it didn't look Greg good. It looked like he did that teaser. But if you did it, I hope that's not an insult. <laughs> Cause it didn't it didn't look like your work. But maybe because it was just a teaser, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh he's doing the movie with um with FaZe Rug. And uh they they released the teaser. Um they released the teaser today and uh I didn't think it didn't look like like big fan work, you know. But uh, I don't know, maybe that's intentional. He's he's probably like, "Yes, I did it, you asshole." <laughs> uh the trailer isn't out yet. It's just a teaser. Uh so okay, anyway, uh this one I got to put this on here before I forget. Um non sports looked at that and I said some of you were talking I was like is that the one yeah somebody said one through twelve yeah four through six yeah and that was box two album four. <laughs> Greg is hella famous <laughs> <Mott's out. laughs> uh, Greg should be in this product that's what should be going on Oh, 
it's a small one. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad because it didn't look like you. Not that I'm some expert on like Greg's work pre pre pandemic has been. I could do like a speaker series. Yes, well, Greg's work pre pandemic is definitely along the you know. You know no, I just I just was like really I don't think that. The so I can open those. Yeah, you open those because they might have autos, okay. and you want to check it. That was a Bobichet, but it wasn't an auto. <laughs> that's cool though man that's cool there's nothing there is absolutely nothing wrong with you know going outside your box making it a little bit more more friendly <laughs> here's those two remember I said yeah. somewhere that's gonna be <laughs> I'm not gonna tell I'm not telling them nothing bro I'm not telling them nothing I'm gonna be real quiet you see what he said? I ain't telling him shit. <laughs> Little brats. <laughs> they, um, they check it out, right? The seven year old and the 10 year old are failing. They're failing, bro. Check it out. The seven year old, right? The teacher will be like calling his name and he'll be walking around the room. He turns his mic off, turns his camera off and like goes jolly vanting, right? While the, he's trying to, his, his teacher's trying to get him to answer questions and stuff like that. And then he was supposed to turn in all his stuff. What, last Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. He was supposed to have a packet of papers that they deliver to the school, right? So uh, the teacher contacted his mom and was like, hey, I need, you know, the seven-year-old's packet of work and she's like okay so she goes to the seven-year-old and she says Rajano I need your packet of work and he goes huh yeah yeah I told him he wasn't allowed to uh he wasn't allowed to turn um his camera off anymore right I said you do not turn that camera off if I see that camera turned off no video games right I put my foot down, bro. So you know what this little smart ass did? He kept the camera on, but turned it around and faced it to a box. So when I came back, he's like, I didn't turn it off. Oh, oh, he's slick. He's so slick, bro. He is so slick. <laughs> so this is Maria Pepe, baseball pioneer. So this is a non, even though it's baseball, it, she's not an athlete or anything. So we're going to call it non-sports. And I'm going to call it three. Uh, Actually, you'll call it six. Oh, it's going, okay, six, I mean, nine, okay. No, 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 no. It's one, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 Greg's a Yankees fan. No, Greg's a Giants fan. They can't be in phase if they don't do their work. I'm going to tell them. They don't care. They steal it anyway. Every one of them's phase. What is his phase sway? sway. Yeah. He's phase sway. Two, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he already says he's in phase. Little liar. Little non-homework doing liar. <laughs> uh yeah, man. They're both failing, bro. They're both failing. <laughs> yeah, he can change his active background into a video of him sitting there. <laughs> yeah, we ain't telling him that. Um, so, okay, so this Jackie Robinson, now that's a good card. This Jackie Robinson is a no number. For the Dodgers, Jackie Robinson no number um, to 50. Not numbered, but limited to 50. <laughs> he probably is. You'll be with Sway tomorrow? Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. A different, I'm with a different face, Sway, but... Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Luis Robert? That's cool. The kids would just... They would lose their minds, bro. They would lose their minds. 
Yeah, he's the one that told his teacher he couldn't do any more work because he caught COVID. <laughs> he told her he caught the Rona. <laughs> he said, I can't do any more work. I got I got the Rona. That's what he told her. <laughs> no, I can't. You want to know why I can't? Because I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one that punishes him because if I'm the only one that punishes him, then I'm not just the bad guy. I am like, I'm the worst guy. You know what I mean? If you're the only one that punishes him, then it's not a punishment. It just becomes, you know, you're, you're the, you're the bad person. I don't, I don't want to, it's not worth it. You know, I can't take his games away when he's with me because then he just won't be, he'll, he'll solve that easy. He just won't be with me. You know what I mean? So, no, I, just, I can't do it. I've tried it. I took their games away. They packed their shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they packed up, and they went to a friend's house who had video games, and they just stayed with them for a couple weeks. Longoria, that's exactly what they did when I took them away. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sparky Anderson. He's got a little friend. Um, his dad's a, a coach. And man, they just play video games nonstop over there. So he packs up and goes there. I can't, you know. So I did punish him though. I was gonna buy him the PS5 because he loves the ten-year-old loves PlayStation. The fourteen-year-old loves Xbox. Um, the other two, they're, they're whatever, you know, either or. The seven-year-old's probably more more PlayStation now, but the others, you know, they're generally whatever. They'll play PlayStation. They'll play Xbox. They don't care. Um, but I told him, Garcia Parra, I told him when it came out, I would get it for him. But um, he stole my controllers. And so I told him I wasn't going to get it for him. So he's like, that's fine. My mom will get it. I'm like, okay. But she is. She's going to get it. So I'm like, whatever. So then he tells me for Christmas, he wants a computer. I said, what you mean? He says, well, my mom's getting me the PlayStation, so I want you to get me the computer. I said, you know what you're getting from Christmas for me? He said, what? I said, a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas text. <laughs> I'm going to text you Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's what you're going to get. Little sucker. I want a computer because cause I'm not buying him the PlayStation. He thinks he'd just get a computer. Spoiled, <laughs> it's Kobe's fault. Kobe be spoiling him bad, bro. Kobe be spoiling him bad. Not me, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're the worst. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Vado, not the 10-year-old. The 10-year-old does not play Xbox. He's a little snob. He's a PlayStation snob, bro. He won't play it. But um, the uh, the autistic um, the autistic one and uh, the older one, the 14-year-old, they both love Xbox, both of them. But the 10 year old, he's all about PlayStation. So the seven year old's his little brother. So, you know. <laughs> I already ordered one. I tried to get two, but um, I ordered one. I've got one PlayStation coming and two extra controllers. So I got that going, but yeah. Yeah, they, they won't even, they never like new things anyway. Like new seasons on their games, they don't like them at first. Um, so when the PlayStation 4 came out, he liked his PlayStation 3 better, you know? So he's he's just going to keep playing the 4 for a while until mm -hmm. he gets used to the 5. Willie Mays? Yeah, my little girl, she had the, I bought her the uh, Xbox. I bought her the Xbox One. When she was in the hospital. Uh, so she could play games in the hospital. You know, hook it up to her TV in her room. Hospital room. Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. That's Greg's favorite team right there. The Giants. And, and the Astros. I mean, he's secretly an Astros fan too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he likes the Dodgers. That's why he hates the Giants. And he hates the Astros. So that's why I say he's a Giants fan. <laughs> he's a Dodgers fan. 
Oh, I still got the, uh, he says you're so mean to me. I still have the, all the Ataris, bro. I got the Atari 400. I got the Atari 800. Uh, I got the Atari 1200. I got, uh, several 2600, like several 2600s. I've got a couple, I've got a couple working 5200s. I know how to take apart the controllers and fix those. <laughs> he said Mark's my favorite. I do hit him all the big Dodgers. That much I know. Pete Alonzo, black border. <laughs> Mark. We were just talking last night. Me and Mark were just talking last night about you, Greg. About how you should be in this. And we don't understand what Tops is doing right now. Because you should be in this. And that's the truth. <laughs> you rem <laughs> Do you guys remember the scene from uh, Goodfellas when they were uh, they were making you know Joey's J Joey Pesci's player was being made and they were like it's like we're all getting made. Well, that's how I would feel if if Greg got in. Why am I putting this in here? I don't even know. Honus Wagner. If Greg got in Allen and Ginter, and he should be in Allen and Ginter, it's definitely a Greg product. Uh, it would be like we were all in it. We'd all celebrate. <laughs> It'd be like, that's right, we and Alan and Ginter. We'd be saying we and stuff. When we pull his card, we'd be like, hey, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> Andres Munoz. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Da uh, Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette, and Kyle Lewis rookies. Um, I've got some Nintendos, but they've been in storage so long, I bet they don't work. I would have to take them apart. Probably order new pins. Royals loves the Super Nintendo so much. Or not the Super Nintendo. The Nintendo 64 so much, it's still her email. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I'm talking about the scene where they were talking about when one of us gets made, we all get made. <laughs> Under the bed. Uh, Willie Mays. I did have a conversation about being in that in Allen and Ginter at one point, but I didn't want to be in it. I wanted them to do um, my little girl instead. And uh, that conversation never got very far. <laughs> But that's what I wanted them to do. I didn't even want them to. I didn't want them to mention. You know, I didn't want to use it as any kind of advertisement at all. I just wanted it to be, you know, uh, about like, you know, raising money uh, at the time for her hospital um, in her memory. That's what I wanted the card to be about. And um, we could definitely do some relics, you know. <laughs> uh, but it just never went anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to hear that story, Royals. <laughs> she said she made that email when she was in the eighth grade. Uh, me? I don't even know. I don't even know what I have. Juan Soto. All the Donkey Kong countries, I'm sure. Mario Karts. The, the main game, the only game you need for Nintendo 64 is GoldenEye. I mean, yeah, do that. Do that, bro. I will absolutely open it. You're, you're absolutely right. I got you. I'm going to make it its own video. <laughs> uh, but you don't have to do that. Just post uh, post in the in the thread. And all you have to post is um, your, your, your YouTube name. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to bother him. I don't want to be one of those guys. But I don't even, I'm not even sure if like the, the other people's books out yet. You know, I'm not sure any books come out yet. Um, but I mean, I don't want to be that guy that's like bugging him. You know what I mean? So, um, I know what he told me it would probably be. He told me to keep it a secret. So I'm just kind of sitting and waiting uh, if that book comes out, then I'll, you know, but I'm pretty sure he'll contact me. 
but I don't want to be the guy that's like, hey, you know, I, I paid some money and you're supposed to, you know, do the book and, you know, I don't want to be him. That's those, those people drive me up a wall. I don't want to be one, you know? Yeah. Turok, that was cool. The ocean, the ocean scares the hell out of me. <laughs> Tony Dunst. I don't know what he is. Probably an actor. Co Ooh, Dodgers are on fire, bro. Hell yeah. Now this one you won't miss. You know what I mean? That's a red back right there. Hand numbered red back to 25. What? I can't see who has the Dodgers. There's a line over it. <laughs> uh, that's a cool card. So Jackie Robinson and Sandy Koufax, big minis. All right, bro. I'm going to open it after. We've only got a couple more boxes, and then we're going to open it. So that's cool because you'll be able to see like everything now every card in there obviously is yours no matter what team it says no matter anything it's yours so i mean that's obvious but i like to say it just to restate the obvious juan soto see these cards slide around on me <laughs> small stacks small stacks i got you I got you. Yeah, just hang out. Just a couple more minutes. We'll get it done. Uh, I guess we're like 20 minutes away. Uh, Brooklyn goes to the Dodgers. All historical teams follow their team. So Brooklyn Dodgers go to the Dodgers. Milwaukee Braves don't go to the Brewers. They go to the Braves. Another rip card for the Red Sox. Carl Yastrzemski, 20 out of 75. So we hit three rips. We hit the Yastrzemski, we hit the, what was it, Johnny Bench, and then we hit the uh, the box topper one. That's, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> what do you think's in there? Oh, hell no. We're going to hold that one too. We're going to save that one for the, the box topper rip. When we do the box topper, we're also going to open that. Okay. We just got to remember that it was, it was, and just in case, I mean, I'm sure it's a baseball duel. It's either, you know what? It could be a D. Oh, I don't know what it is. So anyway, this is box eight. Yeah, yeah, box eight. All right, so we're going to open this pack in the video with the box topper rip, guys. How cool is that? We're going to do it in just, just, I don't know, 20 minutes. I got you. I'm really excited. It's going to be such a cool video. Don't just stand there, Buster Posey. Yeah, it might be a premiere. It just might. That's what I like. You know, I like the weird stuff. You know what I mean? That's what I like. That's what makes these exciting. And over the years, I've hit some. Yeah, yeah. I've hit some crazy stuff. Tommy Lastella. You know, I hit like uh, I hit a mummy relic one year. I hit. Uh, I've hit just bugs i mean all kinds of crazy stuff i hit the werewolf once yeah it could be any of those cut dna button book it could be any of those that's what's exciting under the bed that's why i put the box because if it ends up being a non-sports hit it goes to the person who has non-sports uh seven through nine you know what i mean uh ozuna so yeah i'm pretty pumped about this i really am i don't know if you guys can tell <laughs> <laughs> all right guys box nine yeah the they play the switch everybody plays the switch except for the 10 year old i bought them all switches was it last year for christmas yeah one and lost they've lost them they i don't even know i don't even know we found one moving here it's no telling. A vervet monkey. Sure. <laughs> he got a Segura napkin relic. 
Victor Robles. Bo Bichette and Kyle Lewis, rookies. Phil Rizzuto. What's up, CPC? Ryan Sandberg. Jim Palmer, Black Border. Yadier Molina, A and G back. Yeah, the reason you do box, well, the reason I do box stoppers all to one spot is because box stoppers are, they're expensive to ship. You know what I mean? Because if you're going to ship a box topper, you have to ship it a medium flat rate. Um, box because you've got you know it's not the only thing you ship so you say you do it by the team uh, Hater Aid Josh Hater for the Brewers you know you've got this this stack of team cards right and then you've got this you got this giant flimsy box topper you know what I mean so it's got to go in a medium flat rate it's the only way to safely ship it so instead of costing you know four dollars to ship now it's fifteen dollars to ship you know what I mean and you got to do that for every team that hits a box topper. That's why I do it all one spot. Then I can ship all of them in a in a medium flat rate, and I only have to pay that once. That's why I do it. But in this break, everybody gets um, priority shipping anyway. I added it into the price. It was only a couple extra dollars. And that way we don't have to worry about them. Well, we have less worry about them disappearing in the mail. Jack Morris. Ryan Braun. A-Rod. Matt Chapman. Tokyo. Don't just stand there. Buster Posey. Oh, I need a drink. <clears throat> so when you get done, you've got four rows that look like, you know, that second one. That See how the first row is shorter? Yes. The reason the first row is shorter, the other three will all look like two. Uh, Paul DeJong, it's because the first row had the, uh, the the hot box. See these cards, how they look different? Mm -hmm. The hot box cards are thinner. See how thick these are? The really thick cardboard? The, the hot box cards are not that thick. And so that's the difference. See that just that half an inch? That's the difference in height because of the hot box cards. Here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. See how um, see how this row is shorter than this one? It's kind of hard to tell, but that row is shorter. When we're all done, these three will all be this height, and this one will be slightly shorter. It's because the hot box was in there. And NOS. I don't have any NOS. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to go get some. I drank my last one. Paul Molitor. <laughs> he just gave us a dollar. When people give us a donation, they get a Yoshi on the screen. That's what that is. <laughs> Aquino and Alex Bregman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I got you. I got you, bro. Thank you, Mr. Pico. Appreciate you. Uh, Howie Kendrick. No, you were, my God, no. No, bro. You were not who I was talking about at all. Um, after she passed away, uh, there was a thread. It's not there anymore. But I didn't make it. Some friends of mine made a thread. Um, and it was just, you know, wishing her well and hoping she gets better and stuff like that. And occasionally, I would post an update in there. I didn't... I didn't want to post it on the forum, 
Um, but, you know, I felt like, you know, they went to all the trouble to make a thread, you know, for her benefit that I, I would do it. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Kokumai? Kokumai, I, I think. Sakura? Uh, so this is a this is a, a athlete, right? So non baseball, right. seven through twelve. So you got one through six, and then seven through twelve. But you just would just put nine, nine. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, she passed away. Uh, my goodness, it's five five years ago, five and a half years ago, and. Um, some I had texted a couple people that are on the forum, and I, you know, I just told them I was like, you know, she's gone, and um, they had posted in the thread that that she was gone, and somebody came in and was making fun of her and you know mocking her and stuff like that, and uh, I didn't see it until later because you know I wasn't on the thread or anything. I was really really drunk somewhere else, but um. I did see it later when I was able to get to the thread. It was, it was a long time later, but um, I was able to see it. And I never, ba I didn't ban him, I didn't suspend him, I didn't do anything. Uh, I just let it go. But I sure as hell never forgot. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, they 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 know who they are. Uh, to the, for a while they pretended it didn't happen because the mod team deleted it. But they didn't delete it. When we delete something on the forum, it's still there. The mod team can still see it and can bring it back or whatever. And so somebody was giving him a hard time about it, you know, how, how it was a horrible thing to do and yada, yada, yada. And he said he never did it because it was gone. He thought that there was no proof. <laughs> but there was proof. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. But uh, I don't. I don't have any vendetta. I don't, you know, I'm not naming them. If I named them, you know, I mean, that would be pretty significant. I'm not going to do it. I let it go. But one thing, one thing I will do, and that is they are never going to be in anything I do. No, no giveaways, no prizes, nothing. You know how my breaks say I can decide who's allowed in and who's not? Well, he's not allowed in. <laughs> I don't care what he pays. Didi Gregorius, no number. So that's our third one. Now, if you remember, our first one was actually in the hot box. And the hot box has a different collation, you know? So that's how you can end up with, with more than the two you normally get. Didi Gregorius. A lot of times, if you see somebody post, like, they got the same auto. Like, they'll get an auto, and then in another box, they'll get the exact same auto. Uh, that's usually because one was in the hot box. You know what I mean? So... Oh man, it's horrible. There's you wouldn't believe the things people have done. Uh, I had posted a picture of where she was buried, and she's under a tree. And there have been people saying they're gonna go and piss on the tree. And uh, there was a guy that posted a bunch of Twitter accounts, you know, saying I'm happy she's dead, and put her name in the Twitter account. And Twitter wouldn't delete them. They just left them. They said, you know, free free expression or whatever the hell it is. So, I mean, there's been some really horrible people. <laughs> that's that's why I didn't want to post it. I didn't want it in the thread. But once it was in the thread, I didn't feel like, you know, because it was well-meaning. But I did not want it in there at all. And that's why. I never wanted somebody to be able to use her against me. You know what I mean? To, you know, you know use her. Like, use her for some bullshit they wanted to do because they're some, you know petty ass toxic person on the internet you know so but it's no big deal chris sale yeah what was it merrick merrickson gregorius wasn't that it merrickson yeah there's been some luis robert this has been some really hateful stuff There was, a, there was a guy that, uh, you, you know that scammers page, the um, baseball card scammers or something like that. I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
it's the, the the scammers page. Somebody went on there and said that I use I do these these charity breaks at least once a year. I usually do two or three of them. You know, I do one in April, which is when she passed away. I do one in September, which is her birthday, and then I usually do one at the holidays. But I make sure that because people are like, oh, I'll send you the money, you know, and you donate it. I don't do that. And the reason I don't do it is because I want to be able to say I never hold the money. I don't touch it. None of the money comes to me. It doesn't come to me and then go to the charity. It goes from you to the charity and never touches my hands. And the reason for that is because there was a guy who was posting on that scammers page that I was using, you know, the charity breaks and then keeping all the money. But I never touched it. Never. But, you know, there's nothing to stop somebody from saying that. So that's why I like to highlight in every single thread. Joey Votto, I like to highlight in every single thread that I don't touch the money. You know, I don't want it. It's got nothing to do with me. It's between you and the charity and that's it. But, yeah. And I've had that happen, you know. So it's like whatever. <laughs> it's like whatever. <laughs> Gavin Lux, that's a cool one. A and G back, Gavin Lux. Dodgers did really well with the minis, bro. They did really well. Yeah, and the worst thing about it is very, very, very few people are anonymous because, you know, with just the limited information that I get as the admin, you know, I've got IP address and I've got email. You know, that generally tells you everything about somebody. Oh, that's nice. Kyle Lewis to 25, bro. Seattle Mariners, congratulations. Moss Town, what the hell? You just crushed it. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, Kobe says it's because he's here, Moss Town. <laughs> he says it's because he's here. Four of 25, monster hit. Monster hit for Moss Town, big time. Bro had a good night. Did they win? The only one I saw is when he tied it, when he answered. That's the only one I saw. His first touchdown pass. It was a nice pass, though. Maybe a better catch than a pass, but still a nice pass. Uh, Gavin Lux. Mo Vaughn. Ryan Sandberg, that's a great hit. All right, two boxes to go. So you feel good? You feel confident? All right. Kobe's got this. We're going to do we're going to both break a case here in a minute. I've got an update though. But you could start on you could do the next one of this and then I'll update um the other the other breaks, you know. And then we can both do one. Because your first case will take you longer. It's always slower. The first case is always slower. The only thing I ask, could you open it and uh, put it down? With the box? There's a setup of it. Sure, I got you. Thanks. I got you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I need to put a window of you on my, uh, on my feed so everybody can watch you break. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. No. Yeah, well, I'm going to put you, like, above my chat where it says cheap fun breaks. I'm going to move that off to the side. And I'm going to put you right up there, right above my chat so everybody can watch you break. Yay, yay. <laughs> Thurman Munson. Seagal, uh, Justine Seagal, she was a coach for the uh, Oakland A's. So that's where we're going to put her cards for the Oakland A's. Donnie Baseball. <laughs> they said they want to see your eyes. What the hell? <laughs> Thurman Munson, A and G back. I have sunglasses on. He said he's going to wear sunglasses. 
It's 1 a.m. He's going to wear sunglasses. It's 1 a.m. inside. Contreras. Almost. Justine Seagal. Pretty much the same thing. Let's see if Lightning won. I think, it did. I think Phil said that the Lightning were very dominant early. But then he said that means they'll probably lose. Baseball Brit. A little something something. Some kind of relic or whatever. So non-sports 10 through 12. Two one. Two one. Duke Schneider. Another Dodgers mini. Shane Bieber. Mazeroski. Hit <laughs> the goalie skate. That's terrible. Joey Votto. Andre Dawson. What? What year is it? I need a clip of that. And then every time I hit an Andre Dawson card, I can play the clip. <laughs> That's what I need. Under the bed. What what year? When he comes out of the Ivy, that'd be awesome. Luis Robert. Luzardo A and G back. Ken Griffey Jr. Aaron Judge Mini. Check it out. For Seattle. Who's got Seattle? I can't remember. Do you remember who's got Seattle? No. It's Moss Town. Moss Town has Seattle. Austin Meadows. A <laughs> dinosaur. I'd be cool. I'd like to hit a dinosaur. Hit by pitch. This one's black. <laughs> Tortuga. Tortuga. 24 out of 25. Tortuga for the Twins. John Boy. John Boy with the Twins. Nice hit. Yelich. A and G back. Malbork Castle. The Ocean. Carlton Fisk. Last pack box 11. Woodruff. Okay. All right, so that is 11. We got one more box, then we'll do a recap, and then we're going to open this box topper, triple triple rip, and we're going to open this bad boy that came out of box eight. Both of those are going to happen. It's happening. But first, last box. Last box, three hits. Uh, it was an it was a set from like 1870, I think. Um, Allen and Ginter. It wasn't just sports cards, which is why you have all this meteors and stuff like that. I mean, they had like they had like butterflies and and horses and you know all that stuff, which is why it does today. Uh, it's just an homage to that old set. Uh, that's cool. Chip Gaines. 
I can't tell if I want a DNA relic. I don't want a book because books are sticker autos. I mean, unless it's like Mike Trout and Albert Pujols one of one patch book auto. You know what I mean? All right. But I don't really want a book because they're sticker autos. They're nice, but they're sticker autos. I would rather have, you know, like a JFK pin. Yeah, yeah. Or, um, you know, something like that. <laughs> Triple rip after Taco Bell. Daryl Strawberry. Escobar. Bueller. Jason Hayward. Chicago Cubs. Mark McGuire. <laughs> Luis Robert, Eloy Jimenez. I mean, if it's the one of one, I guess. But if it's just a sticker auto to 10, I, I mean, I'm not really a fan. <laughs> the same reason R.L. Stein has a, has a card. Johnny Bench. Burt Belylevin. A and G back. Um, it's every, whoa, mm. Andrew Benintendi silk. This is a silk card to 10. Andrew Benintendi. First one I've hit. You got a lot of good stuff in this one. Uh, the card I'm yeeting is this. It's a, uh, <laughs> crack the code. It's just a advertisement basically. I don't have any. I, I only had eight cases and I sold I sold all eight. I mean hang out, it's possible that this uh, this one undersold, I'll know shortly. Uh, the first one undersold. No. Undersold? Oversold. Oh undersold. The first one undersold by one. So I mean it could have happened again. Or it might have oversold and then that last person that bought a spot I got a refund. I hate doing that. Gould, baseball writer. Is that his tie? <laughs> Derek Gould. Gavin Lux mini. A lot of cool Dodgers minis, bro. So this is, even though it's a baseball, it's a writer. So this is non-sports, 10 through 12. Normally would take you about what two, two hours? Uh, this takes me ninety minutes. Uh, I could go a little bit faster if I wasn't, you know, explaining kind of how I, as I go. So maybe, maybe eighty minutes. Um, but the first one I did took me almost two hours. Your first one will take you two hours, just because you you're gonna go slow and careful and all that shit. I can't blame you. Uh, Buster Posey, don't just stand there. Hmm? I see something coming up. Oh, okay. Biggio. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> Sacento, you got a Biggio. That's not bad. Second baseman. Craig Biggio. His son is Kevin. Look at the look at the centering on that. <laughs> Just a little offside on the Safari sites. It's a Safari truck. You know what it is? Welcome to Jumanji. <laughs> Dr. Greystone. Is it Greystone? Greystone. Dr. Greystone. <laughs> Welcome to Jumanji. <laughs> I wonder 
Watch it now. <laughs> Carl Yastrzemski. <laughs> Uh, or Bravestone. Is it Bravestone? Bravestone sounds more like it. Dr. Bravestone. <laughs> Such peril since you were last here. <laughs> Jumanji needs you. <laughs> I gotta watch it for sure. Yeah. That's my... What's his name? Night, night, night. I haven't seen it in so long, man. My name is Nyland Bridgecock. <laughs> 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 I forget the the character's name that the the NPC. It's so funny. So just don't don't take very many at a time. You know, just take a little bit, and then uh, so they're gonna look like that, right? And then uh, you just just go back through, nice and calm. Uh, Biggio, uh, Gould, Andrew Benintendi to ten, which is nice. Jason Hayward, uh, Tortuga, Ken Griffey, Baseball Brit, Kyle Lewis to twenty five. Uh, Joey Votto, Chris Sale, uh, Kokumai, Schwarber, Josh Hader, there's a rip card, Yastrzemski, Charlie Blackman, Ursula, Soraka, uh, Mike Yastrzemski, Nomar, Nomar, Arise, uh, Pepe, Gavin Lux, um, Hotbox, Rookie, Teft, uh, Slayer, lead singer for Slayer, um, Ozuna, John Means, Sure, whatever. Bogarts, Lorenzo Cain, Ben Intendi, Houston, Kevin Biggio, that's Craig Biggio's son, Austin Meadows, Clayton Kershaw, Almora, another rip card. That one is Johnny Bench. Look at all the autos. We had a shit ton of autos. Normally you get six. We got, did we only get, I think we got like eight. Um, this is Nyquist. Nyquist, and he is a BMX legend, bro. Sabathia, another baseball Brit. We hit the patch and the base, so that's cool. I mean, if you're into that. <laughs> um, and then minis. We, we did well with the minis. Uh, Dodgers did particularly well. Didi Gregorius, that's a no number. Didi Gregorius. Sandy Koufax, Brooklyn back, red, a four of 25. Jackie Robinson, no number. And Timmy Lincecum, no number. So those are pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, box toppers get all the box toppers. Now there's two more hits that I really want to talk to you guys about in just a second. Um, there is this pack right here that was in uh, box eight. So if it's a non sports, it'll go to seven to nine. If it's a non baseball, it'll go to seven to twelve. And then if it's a baseball, it doesn't matter what box it's from. But um, I don't know what it is. Pin, book, DNA relic, dinosaur tooth. I don't know. We're going to find out. And then we've got this triple rip. Now, normally I don't rip these, but the owner said that I could. So I'm going to. Just like that. And then everything in here goes to the box topper spot. It doesn't go, you know, it doesn't go to the teams because it's coming out of his card. This is his card. But we're going to do that in a separate video. I know what you're thinking. What the heck? Well, just go to the video. I got you. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Saving your video right now. Maybe. Yeah, right here. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications. If you enjoyed what you watched, smash the like button. And if you're looking for a great group break, remember. Oh my He's gosh. been breaking for 10 years straight. That's like Who knows what he'll pull yes, today. Nice <laughs> fun breaks is the big league way. <laughs> this has been a production of CFB TV.